वेलकम एवरीवन टू आवर फिक्स्ड इनकम आउटलुक फॉर द मंथ ऑफ मार्च फेब्रुअरी टर्न आउट टू बी अ मंथ विद अ नंबर ऑफ सिग्निफिकेंट इवेंट्स वी स्टार्टेड विद द बजट फॉर द FY23 द मार्केट वाज ह्यूजली डिसअपॉइंटेड विद द फिजिकल डेफिसिट फॉर FY22 प्रोजेक्टेड एट 6.9% ऑफ जीडीपी एज अगेंस्ट द बजट एस्टीमेट्स ऑफ 6.8% in spite of a significantly higher and improved collection profile for the direct and the indirect taxes both in the previous few months after the recovery from the second wave at the same time the market was still more disappointed with the projections for the fiscal deficit for FY23 at 6.4% which was higher than the most aggressive estimate by any of the analysts Uh, the center projected a gross borrowing of about 15 lakh crores which is the highest ever absolute number of market borrowings as also the highest as a percentage of fiscal deficit in many many decades in a normal year uh, we had the fiscal deficit at 9.5% of the gdp just in 2 fy21 but that was a covid disrupted year and fy23 is expected to be a normal year in response to that the 10 year bond yield went closer to 7% however the pleasant surprise for the market came at the next event which is the rbi's monetary policy while almost everyone expected the reserve bank to normalize the monetary policy or at least take one step further towards normalization by tweaking higher the reverse repo rates the reserve bank maintained its stance to be accommodative for as long as it is required for a sustained economic recovery uh, the rbi went ahead and reduced the or lowered the projections for the inflation for the fy23 to 4.5% from 5.3% in fy22 so in the reserve bank's view even though the global monetary policy setting is turning to be hawkish especially the fed where the us inflation is at 7.5% which is the 40 year high the rbi said that look we have to look at our uh, domestic factors and the growth is just about recovering and our inflation has remained within the 4 and 6% band largely over the last two years except maybe for a brief period and the expectations are for the uh, inflation to go get further lower in the coming quarters and that was uh, something which triggered the market uh, into a, a huge uh, rally in bond prices and the bond yields went back down to almost uh, 6.65% where they were before the negativity on account of the high borrowing program and the feds uh, turning hop is started so all in all uh, market got a big uh, relief and reassurance and that uh, resulted in people redrawing their projections even as the market was settling down we had one of the most uh, dreaded event of the recent times that is the start of the conflict between russia and ukraine now the first and immediate impact of the russia ukraine conflict has been a huge spike in the global crude prices now the brent crude as i speak is at about 117 dollars that is the highest we have seen since 2014 and uh, this is the highest that we have seen in a long time now it's more than double the average of what we have gotten used to having said that it is reasonable to expect that this elevated level of the fuel price cannot sustain because the conflict cannot go on forever and the oil prices therefore will not remain under that kind of a pressure for a longer period of time however as of today the macro situation therefore has turned a little bit unsupportive now there could also be uh, multiple impacts of the conflict on the imports on the exports on the overall global growth the india's uh, position being abstaining on the un security uh, meeting uh, could have impact on the trade relations with other countries it is too early to say uh, it's too early to say whether the war 
that is on will last for one week or one month or it will uh, get uh, converted or expanded into a third world war as many analysts are saying so it is too early to draw a very pessimistic or very optimistic scenario but i think it is fair to say that the uncertainty has increased significantly and uh, there cannot be a uh, you know ruling out of some exceptional event uh, and given that uncertainty there would be need for extra caution uh, after the conflict has started we had the first statements coming from the federal reserve chairman who indicated that while the conflict will bring in more uncertainty into the policy making uh, the march expected rate hike at its fomc meeting it is still very much on and uh, for india uh, the comments that we know from the government sources is that look oil prices are not going to remain at this level for for a long time because this cannot continue and that's a fair estimate so at this point i think the market has become more apprehensive however we still need to get a decisive uh, you know recalibrated uh, statement from the authorities especially let's say the monetary policy authorities it's hope for a quick improvement in the situation i believe that uh, the markets will remain range bound and uh, the reserve bank will be able to maintain its accommodative policy for a little longer than what the market may think now and uh, therefore i think the interest rates will remain range bound and uh, at higher levels of interest rates we will see strong intervention from the central bank as we have seen post the budget and at lower levels there will be little appetite for additional investment so let's uh, focus on a range bound market and appropriately place a funds and the investment strategies thank you so much mutual fund investments are subject to market risks read all scheme related documents carefully